Well, good morning. It's Tuesday morning and it's time for a story. I, I thought now we've, we've looked at some of the Old Testament stories of Moses, it would be good to focus in on Jesus and uh, particularly in light of our question and answer that we're learning this week. So we're going to do some stories from the book of John, John's Gospel. Uh, this is the story about Jesus at a wedding. It comes right near the beginning of John's Gospel. It's a great story. One day, Jesus and his mother and the disciples were invited uh, to a wedding that took place in Cana in Galilee. It was very exciting watching the bride and the groom get married. Everybody was very happy for them. Ooh, there we go. Uh, Jesus. Uh, Jesus and all the wedding guests congratulated the married couple. Now the wedding ceremony was over. It was time to have a big party. Everybody began to celebrate and sing and enjoy this wonderful and special time with a man and woman who had become husband and wife. And they sat down to eat delicious food and drink. Some of the grown-ups drank wine and the children ran and played and laughed all day. Jesus' mother noticed that the servants who were looking after the guests would start to become upset. She heard them say that there was no more wine for everyone to drink. The husband and wife were very worried. How could they get more wine? Mary had an idea. She went to Jesus and asked him to help. Jesus looked at his mother and said, my time has not yet come. It's not my time to start miracles yet. His mother smiled and told the servants to do whatever Jesus said. She knew that Jesus would help. Jesus saw that there were six big water jars in the house. Fill them up to the brim with water, then take some of the water from the jars to the, to the head man who looks after all the guests and let him taste it, Jesus said. And the servants did as Jesus commanded. As the head man began to drink the water, it became wine and it was delicious. The man told the, the bride and groom that he really liked their wine and it tasted the very best of all. And everybody rejoiced and everybody had started to see just who the Lord Jesus Christ was. Well, uh, we'll have a song and then we'll come back for our question and answer this week. This is all about Jesus, isn't it? i 
Well, here's our question and answer for this week. Who is the Redeemer? And we know, don't we, because we've seen him at work at that wedding in Cana and Galilee. The only Redeemer is the Lord Jesus Christ. Here's our prayer for the week. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, to redeem us. He was innocent of all sin, yet you punished him for our sin that we might go free. Help us to live a life worthy of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good. Well, time for Joel's joke of the day. See you tomorrow. Where did Napoleon leave his armies? In his sleeveys. <laughs>